Hi, thanks for taking the time to hear our story. My name is Danny Loskamp, and my family and I are raising money to start our own small-scale grass-based meat and produce farm just east of Cincinnati, Ohio. Why are small-scale environmentally conscious farms so important? I'm glad you asked. First, let me tell you how I got into farming and how it has impacted my family in such a positive way. It all started with the purchase of three chickens, and as chicken enthusiasts will tell you, the rest was history. We got into more chickens, ducks, meat rabbits, tilapia, fruit trees, an herb garden, a salad garden, and much more, all on .17 acres in suburbia while serving on active duty as a United States Marine. Temple Grandin once said, Animals are what make us human. A true farmer has compassion for his animals and doesn't live in constant fear of disease. Real farmers don't wear gas masks inside barns or use things like manure lagoons. I would call the style of farmer more a production engineer or scientist. Real farmers want to be with their animals, want to tell people and teach people about their animals. Our farm will be based on the two manuals God gave us, the Bible and nature. Nowhere in nature exists only one species, yet mankind and all our hubris believe we can do it better with science-based food production focusing on just one species. Our farm will be a shining light for people who want to eat nutrient-dense food produced in a clean way. Our design will have the animals doing much of the work as I act as the conductor of an orchestra of animals who manage our lush pastures. Using management intensive grazing, I can double or quadruple production and profit per acre, increase fertility and improve the health of the surrounding environment leading to happy healthy animals. As Joel Salatin and a handful of others have taught me, and I do still have a lot to learn, I would love to pass this knowledge on to other passionate farmers. There's a food revolution going on in our country, both from the standpoint of the farmer and the consumer. We're going to be part of it, are you? Money donated not only will provide us with what is described in our farm plan below, but will help sponsor smiles on kids' faces for years to come. Since learning our son has 65% hearing loss four years ago, we've become very in touch with the disabled community especially disabled children. Seeing my son Jeremiah interact with just our chickens is so touching and provides hope to us parents that he is capable of doing things on his own and can have a productive role in society. I want to give that feeling of joy to other parents and children. We are going to have regular events like Disabled Children's Day, Foster Child Day, and Youth Correctional Facilities Kids Day where these kids and their families don't have to pay a single dime for an education and a wonderful lifetime experience. We want to show kids a positive outlet for their energy or aggression. With the average age of the U.S. farmer 63 years old and aging, we want to teach young people that farming can be an enjoyable, profitable, and respectable life to live. And by donating, you also help to ensure that sentiment is passed on to the next generation. Thanks in advance for any help you are able to provide, and have a great, blessed day.